hello guys welcome to this tutorial first of all it is important to understand what a server is so a server is simply a piece of computer hardware or software or a computer program that provides functionality for other programs or devices called clients in simple terms a computer server is just a central system or software or a program which can allow other devices called clients to access its files a server can simply be a computer server where we have a computer system controlling client computers or can be a web server such as a google drive so to understand the meaning of a server i will use this example as you can see this is a network with client computers and a server or a central system so as we can see we have a series of client computers in this network so this is client computer 1 client computer 2 client computer 3 and all these computers connected to a server or a central system so in this central system the clients can access files from here a server is not only a computer system it can be a program or a software for example we have the google drive which is a web-based server so to understand how the google drive works i can use this diagram to illustrate so here for example we have clients client one which can be a data collector odk collect app so for example client one can collect data and send it to a central system which is the google drive client 2 can do the same client 3 can do the same and client 4 can do the same so clients in this context of odk for example are data collectors after they collect their data they send their finalized forms to the central system where all the data will be stored from various clients after storing this data which is usually stored in form of google sheets these files can also be managed they can be edited within the google drive they can also be analyzed within the google drive they can also be cleaned to illustrate the configuration of odk collect data to the google drive I will use our previous example of an excel form so in this excel form we had some people who had some errors in their uploading of the files online so these errors may be as a result of the cases so odk is case sensitive and you should be careful with the type of cases you use for example the cases for the titles of your column headers should all of them should be small letters for example type the letter t should not be capital all the letters should be small the same applies to name and the same applies to label when you come to the survey and choices all the names should also start and end in small letters all the letters should be small because odk is case sensitive if you did not go through my previous video on how to create this form please click on the link in the description below to access the video and follow the steps to create the, the form however i have attached the form in the description below as a google drive link you can go through it and see if all of your steps are correct make sure the survey and the choices worksheets are exactly as they should so as previously stated we are going to use the google drive as our server in this example so to use Google Drive as the server, we need to add a third worksheet. We need to add a third worksheet 
called we need to add a third worksheet called settings A third worksheet called settings so we have three worksheets we have the survey the choices and the settings in the settings worksheet we are going to have the first column header as form title the second column header as form ID and the third column header as submission underscore URL so this submission URL is the link to where our results will be submitted in the Google Drive so this link we will copy it from the Google Drive so for the form title you just state the name of your form in this case the name of my form is form excel how i have saved it form excel and the id is is almost the same as that one so you just provide the same as the form id so after this we will go to the google drive and create a google sheet where our results will be submitted and copy the link to our submission url before we upload this form again so to access the google drive you need to log in to your gmail account so after logging into your gmail account click on the apps the google apps after that you come and click on the google drive after the google drive has opened we need to create the google sheet in which our results will be keyed in to create this sheet you go to new then google sheets after clicking on google sheets it will come with the name untitled spreadsheet so you need to change this name to your preferred name in this case for example results I've saved mine results after pressing after writing the word result you press on enter to save the name so after that you will come back to my drive and reload then you will see the form will appear so remember the google sheet form this is where our results will be keyed in so to get the link to this file where we will key in our results by sending them through an internet connection you right click on the document then click on get link after that you will come here and copy the link after clicking on copy link come back to your excel form after that you paste the link in the submission url so after pasting this link we need to save this document and upload it to the odk online afresh so you can save it in your preferred name that is in line with the form id you have indicated in your settings worksheet so in my case the name will remain the same the name is form excel so as in our previous videos to upload this form online you just search odk form online after searching that you can select this one odk xls form online version 2 so after opening the window you can click on choose file after clicking on choose file 
you will look for the file and upload it then you will submit after submitting there are many options you can first preview the form to see if it is okay in our case my form is okay you can go back and download the X form so after downloading this X form we need to go back to the Google Drive and upload this X form so that when we collect our data the X form will be linked to our ODK collect so so to upload the XML form you have just downloaded in your Google Drive go to new then click on file upload after clicking on file upload you can click on downloads to get your downloaded X form there thereafter you will double click on it to upload so as you can see it has been uploaded in my mail so you can just reload and check so here is the XML form we have just uploaded it in the drive so this XML form will be connected to our ODK collect so when we collect data and feed data in this form all the data will be in will be going to the results form so the next thing you will need to do is to set up the server in your mobile phone so to set up the server you need to install the ODK collect app it is available in the play store so after installing the app you open the app so this is usually the first window that appears so in the first window click on general settings this one so after clicking on general settings you will get this page this window where we have the first option is the server so you will click on the server after clicking on the server it will bring you to this window so in this window the default type of server in the ODK is the ODK aggregate however you want to use the Google Drive which is simple to understand as our server so to change your settings to Google Drive and Google Sheets as the server you will click on the type here after clicking on that it will bring you to this page of with options of changing the server so you will change your server to Google Drive and Google Sheets so you will click on that area so after clicking on that you will press ok and after that there is an option of selecting email down here so you will click on that and type your email so before that make sure that your android phone has an email in it so that you will just come and select that particular email so also the email should be the one where you uploaded the files in its google drive so after selecting the email you will come back to the normal window of the odk collect after coming back to the normal window you will need to get the blank forms from your google drive since you have put your email so you click on get blank form after that the forms will appear here so these are the forms that are in the google drive of that email you have just put so we need you need to download the particular form you 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 are in need of so in this case i need this form so to download it i will mark it i will click here to mark it so it will be marked in a blue within a blue color 
after marking it you will download click on download selected after downloading the form will appear in your blank forms so as you, you can see my download result is a success so after that you will come back to your normal ODK window so in your normal window you will click on fill blank form so after clicking on it you will get your form has appeared under your blank forms since we have downloaded it so someone may ask why is there a difference in the form we have downloaded it is starting with capital letter then this one is uh, also a capital letter since ODK is case sensitive in the settings worksheet we used all to be small letters so you will open this form and fill it so after opening this form you will just fill it the normal filling you can go through my previous video to see how we fill the form so you will fill for example the name of interviewing person is Colin Saudi then thereafter you will click on the arrow after clicking on the arrow you will go to the next question so in this case is the physical address so you click on physical address and fill after filling you go through the same process until you answer all the survey questions so after you have answered all the questions you can see a preview of all the questions answered after that we need to save to save these field questions so to save it click on go to end it will bring me to it will bring you to a saving window then you will save it with your preferred name in this case mine is participant one then you will click on save form and exit so after saving form the form it will appear under saved forms so the form has just been saved but we have not sent it to our google drive in the results google sheet so to send it you will click on send finalized form after clicking on send finalized form you will see your finalized forms have appeared there so to send a particular form in this case the form i want to share to send is this participant one so you you tick on the box after ticking on the box you will click on send selected so after clicking on send selected it will bring you to a window where it will be sending the form and when the form has been successfully sent to the google drive it will tell you the upload result is a success thereafter you need to go back to your google drive and check if the results have appeared in the results google sheet form we created so we need to go back to our google drive and check if the results we have just filled in our ODK collect app has been keyed in in our results sheet we created in the Google Drive so in this case I will open my result sheet Wow and as you can see all the data I filled in my ODK collect app the first data named participant one has been keyed in